Now, a KXAN News investigation. We keep digging to get some more answers about a Bastrop contractor who left his customers high and dry. And now there's new information to share with you about an investigation we brought you here last night. Lewis Tuffy Davis here owes millions of dollars to customers and subcontractors across the Austin area. Customers paid for pools and outdoor kitchens, but their projects were never completed. The subcontractors on these jobs were also not paid. Davis owed TD, owned TD Landscape Design and the Outdoor Marketplace. Both are now shut down and bankrupt. Davis was back in bankruptcy court today, and so was KXAN investigator Shannon Wolfson. Well, last week, Davis told his creditors he spent the last year trying to save his businesses, and he didn't intend to file for bankruptcy, which is why he continued taking payments on jobs that ultimately didn't get finished. But we learned today that Davis knew his company was in trouble back in the spring when he first consulted with his bankruptcy attorney. Yet he continued taking money from customers and taking on new projects. Davis arrived at the federal courthouse this morning to answer more questions from his creditors. Last week, he said he filed for bankruptcy because he had investors who didn't come through at the last minute. But today we learned those investors were actually lenders who declined to give Davis a loan. The federal trustee in this case asked about checks written to Davis from the TD Landscape account. In the final months, the business was open, those checks totaling more than $44,000. Davis said ultimately that money went to subcontractors and suppliers. He also admits customers' money paid for things like light bills, employees' salaries, insurance payments for the business, and fuel for his company vehicles. Mr. Davis, would you like to make any comment today, sir? Well, after court, Davis walked right past our cameras you saw there without making any comment. So what happens to customers who paid all that money and to the subcontractors who never got paid for their work? The banks will get that money that's left from the company's assets, which leaves the customers in this case with little recourse but to sue Davis personally. We're continuing to follow this story and all of our coverage is online right now at the new easier to navigate KXAN.com.